Hi Superstars, today we'll be redesigning and refabricating this machine. This is a palm canal separator machine. Okay, so this machine was made by another manufacturer but had some fault. It could not separate a lot of palm canals in a day. It could only separate a bag of palm canal in a day. So this engineer will be refabricating and redesigning this machine so it can work efficiently and be able to separate at least 50 bags of canal in a day. As you can see, he has made some major adjustments in the design of the machine. He has added some metallic parts and is trying to weld it together there has been a lot of change by superstars compared to what it was before so we are going to work with him and then see how efficient this machine is going to be after fabrication we are going to run tests to see how efficient it is so if you're thinking of starting a palm oil processing plant then you need to watch this video till the end to see how it works don't go away my superstars The art of fabricating a machine involves taking measurements from time to time, grinding some parts, cutting out some parts, welding some parts, and doing lots and lots of things. Okay, so right now he's trying to weld a metallic part to other parts, and he wants to ensure that it is of accurate measurement because if the measurement of the machine differs by even 0 0.01 that machine may not work efficiently fabrication of machines is very very technical and every measurement has to be on point yeah. As long as I don't know, yeah. No, it's filler. It's all, it's all good. And I'm feeling now, but I'm going to open up. Are you happy to say no? Yes. Yes, sir. You're going to shock. He <laughs> shock you. <laughs> Okay, my superstar. So after redesigning and refabricating the palm kennel separator machine, this is what it looks like. Okay, so they've just finished doing the work and there's still more to be done. That's the bodywork right there. As you can see, a new rotor has been fixed. So many parts have been changed. It has been redesigned completely. After painting, this is what the final machine looks like. Beautiful, isn't it, my superstars? Okay, so right now we are going to test run this machine to see how efficient it is after redesigning and refabricating. Okay, so for this experiment, we'll be using a palm kennel. This palm kennel was crushed in another machine before now and we want to put it in this separator machine to separate the shell from the kernel so first we're pouring it into a basin and right now we will put in it through the receptor of the machine we're going to pour the crushed pumpkin oil into the receptor as you can see after pouring it in, it is blown out. 
by the machine and when it is blown out the shell is separated from the kernel the first part you see right here is the part where the kernel will be kept while the other outer part the further away it is from the machine is where the shells will lay my superstars have you liked this video please take a second hit the like button please like this video that's all i ask thank you my superstars and don't forget to share superstars let me explain how this machine works this machine has a blower inside it whereby when pumpkin kernel, crushed pumpkin kernel, together with the chaff and its kernel is poured into the machine the machine blows it it blows it such that when it blows it the heavy part which is the kernel drops down while the shell is blown farther away from the machine since the kernel is lighter it is being carried by air farther away from the machine while the kernel since it is heavier is blown lightly and it falls very close to the machine Okay, so during the operation of this machine, the power of the engine is reduced such that the blowing effect is not too much. The strength of the air released by the blower is just enough to blow the kernel down very close to the machine while the shell is blown farther away from the machine. So, that is how it works so we are still testing this machine we are pouring in more kernel we are trying to make adjustments to ensure that it works efficiently After making some adjustments, the machine was about 80% efficient. As you can see, we have some shell in the kernel in the first part, but not so much, which is good. And this is the second part that was blown farther away. You can see we have just little kernel in it. So, we are going to keep trying and trying till we have that perfect machine designing a machine is not just about fabricating and installing no after fabricating and installing you have to make sure it works well so we are in that phase where we are trying to test the machine 
and make some minor adjustments to ensure it works perfectly. So my superstars, do you think we'll achieve that 98% efficiency? Oh yes we will. Watch with me. Now, go see when I disguise the engine and get your issue on good new farm for me. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, they think I'm accepting. I'm accepting, yeah, man. Yes. My silver stores, finally we have that perfect machine. Okay, so the reason he had to make some adjustments from time to time during installation is because he was not the original designer of this machine. It was brought to him so he can make it work efficiently. So he had to redesign and refabricate based on the person's specification. So that's why he had to make adjustments from time to time while testing to make it work. The final product is now perfect and this machine is now set for use. Okay, my superstars, if you have any question, please leave it in the comment section and I'll get right back to you. And my superstars, have you liked this video? Please take a second to hit the like button right in front of you. Thank you, my superstars. Please like this video. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye.